My name is Paul Arden Brown. I'm a White Star Line historian. Well, Jones Fleet was the headquarters for the Oceanic Steam Navigation Company, and most people would uh, not recognise that name, but it's the official title of the White Star Line. And this was a massive shipping organisation based here on Merseyside that stretched all around the world. So this building was the nerve centre of that massive shipping organisation. The, the Titanic, the steamship Titanic, its registered ownership was in this building. The, the actual manager of the, the ship was a man called Harold Arthur Sanderson, and he was a partner of Bruce Ismay, the chairman of the company, and this is where Titanic had her registered address. But not only was she registered here, but the actual concept behind the construction and the design of those enormous ships, Titanic being one of three sisters, was actually conceived in this very building. So we could say this is where it all began, really, for the Titanic. Yes, it's where it all began, and very sadly, on the 22nd of April, 1912, the one and last board meeting that ever mentioned the Titanic was held in this building, and then Titanic, as a word, was never mentioned again by the company. And it is about educating and informing. Uh, we're not, by any stretch of the imagination, turning Titanic into an entertainment. But there is an uh, important part of heritage to remember. Uh, and the first thing is, is that this building has been empty for three decades. Are we prepared to allow our heritage buildings to fall into disrepair because we can't find new uses for them? And what better than Signature Living, the, the hoteliers that plan to convert this building, that they will actually turn it into a hotel. After all, the White Star Line was in the hotel business. They happen to be floating hotels, but nevertheless, they're still hotels. So there's a great linkage between the two things. So I think that is right and proper. 